sir yes sir we live we back man welcome welcome back man happy monday gang it's me your boy chandler blakely aka goose y'all know why i'm here bringing you another edition of this starting five for DraftKings and fan duel all right let's get into it no lineup review today man yesterday was kind of it was super light for me i had to work man we're a big soccer ball so we had the classic last game so i only did like one lineup Nothing major. It was really like a makeshift day off for me. So we're going to jump right into this starting five here. At the top, man, I want to look at De'Aaron Fox. 8200 I like this price that is slowly starting to fall on him. Great matchup here against the Utah Jazz. I know he struggled the last couple of games, hasn't really gave a big performance, but you know what he's capable of, man. We're talking about a guy who averages over 40 fantasy points on the season in a great matchup against the Utah Jazz with a strong defender down low and Walker Kessler. So that could make it a little tougher on the interior uh, likes of Sabonis and Drive. So I'm, I'm, affecting, I'm expecting more scoring to be from the outside here in this matchup. And that could lead to De'Aaron Fox having a big game. I expect him to find his offense here in this one and give us a big scoring output, man. I like De'Aaron Fox at 8,200. Now, come in as shooting guard. I want to look at this Golden State-Houston game and, and take a look at Jalen Green here for 6,800. He's been playing very well. But most importantly, these Houston guys are playing huge minutes, man. The playoffs have started for them because they are playing 40 minutes a night. I'm talking about him and KPJ. They are just loaded. I'm loving the minutes. I love the matchup against the Golden State Warriors. You know this Golden State Warriors defense has been struggling, especially without Wiggins out there. So I like going to Jalen Green here in this spot. You know he's a true shooting guard, man. The scoring attempts is going to be there. We just hope he can add uh, some assist in there uh, and, and, and a few extra peripherals to give us a big game. But we're mainly looking at scoring here. I think he can have a big output going against the uh, Golden State Warriors here. I like getting to Jalen Green, especially with the minutes he's been averaging. All right. Now, coming at small forward, guy want to take a look at, I like the price tag on him. And, and I think he's going to go overlooked, especially since his teammate has been balling out of control lately. But he's been playing hard as well, man, giving you big numbers. And similar to the, uh, the Rockets, they're playing big minutes as well. The guy I'm talking about is small forward. I want to look at Zach Levine, 8,300. Him and DeRozan, these bull starters have been playing huge minutes. I'm talking about outside of the overtime games. They pushing 40 minutes a night. And you know the type of performance he's capable of. They're definitely going to need it here going against a strong 76ers team. I think everybody's going to look at DeMar DeRozan, like I said, because he's had the biggest outbursts as of late. But Zach Levine has been playing very well, man, pushing 45, 50 points almost on a nightly basis. I like going to him in this spot in this matchup against the Philadelphia 76ers. I know you probably come in at lower ownership today, so this is a nice leverage play here in this matchup, all right? At the power forward. I got my eye on. I've been running them out. I want to look at Jaden McDaniels from the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. Expecting Anthony Edwards to still be out here in this spot. And like I said, this type, with no Anthony Edwards, it just bowls well for McDaniels. Increased usage, increased, increased shot attempts. And with it being Mike Conley and Gobert primarily running that pick and roll as the offense, he gets uh, nice open looks when they kick out off the roll action and things of that nature. And he's been shooting the three ball very well this season, man. Almost at 40%. And the last five games, he's, he's at like 44% from behind the arc. So that pick and roll game combined with his hot shooting, man, I like getting Jalen McDaniels. He gives you some peripherals as well. I love the price tag on him, man. He's definitely in play going against these New York Knicks. And at the center spot, I want to look at Nick Richards, 5,100, just taking uh, part of some value at the center spot that's always there every night. It's always value as soon as it seems like this season. I like Nick Richards at 5,100. Uh, foul trouble the last game and a blowout the game before that kept his minutes down. He's but but uh, prior to those two games, he's he's been approaching thirty minutes, thirty two minutes, and if he's gonna get that in this matchup against the Indiana Pacers, where centers have just absolutely destroyed the Pacers, I like going to Nick Richards. He's definitely live for a double double here and can pick up a few blocks as well. Man, I love Nick Richards at fifty one hundred and I love this matchup. All right. There you have it, just starting five for DraftKings. De'Aaron Fox, Jalen Green, Zach Levine, Jaden McDaniels, and Nick Richards, man. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get them in your player pools. They for sure going to be in mine, all right? Let's go take a look over there on FanDuel and see what I'm feeling over there. Mm -hmm. At the top, man, I want to look at TJ McConnell, 6,300. 
I definitely think he's in play still. Should uh, approach 30 minutes with Halliburton still being out. And he just finds a way to fill up the stat sheet, man. TJ, he's going to give you a little bit of everything. Blocks, steals, assists, rebound. He does it all. Definitely like him over here on FanDuel more as the steals count more, especially going against the Charlotte Hornets team who's a bottom six team in a, a – opponent steals per game so that thing that bodes well for tj mcconnell you can see another multiple steal game from him in this spot and that can definitely pay dividends over here on FanDuel. i like getting the tj mcconnell at 6300 coming at shooting guard i'm gonna stay with zach levine 8300 man i think philly finds a way to I, I mean i think the bulls find a way to hang around in this game i think that's gonna be due to the play of the wings of DeRozan and zach levine i like zach levine here man Hopefully he can get out and transition and take advantage of a um, a lag in MB. Their best bet to score is going to be in transition versus half court set. So anytime I think a game is going to play transitionally or has a tendency to lead this lead to more transition type play, I like guys like Zach Levine in there and Kuzma and things like that. You heard me say that before. You know he plays well in transition. I like Zach Levine at 8300 in this matchup. At the small four, I'm staying with Jaden McDaniels, 5700 I don't mind the $700 uh, dollar price increase over here on FanDuel. Like I said, I think this is a guy who really has 40-point upside on a good night, man. I like going to him in this spot. Increased usage playing in the garden against the Knicks, man. Give me some Jaden McDaniels, provided Anthony Edwards is out. He's questionable. I'm pretty sure he's still out. If he finds a way to return from the ankle injury, that guy is a freak of nature. But like Jaden McDaniels here at 5700 at the power four, I want to look at Santi Aldama. Now, this is pending injury news. You know it's you know how it goes. It's late season NBA, man. But Jaron Jackson Jr. is questionable right now. If he sits, Santi Aldama is going to be in play across both sides. going to be one of the better values on the slate. He should jump into that starting lineup against his Dallas Mavericks team. So, we definitely want to keep an eye on that news. If he happens to play, then we can look somewhere else. But Santi Aldama is going to get minutes regardless, all right? I like him at 4,600. Going to love him if Jaron Jackson Jr. is out. Probably load up on him. He's going to be one of the better value plays. And at the center spot, staying with Nick Richards, 5,700. $600 price increase, but I'm okay with it. Like I said, I'm expecting a nice double-double from him in this spot, and hopefully he can get a few blocks, man. I love the matchup for him. Should see the minutes. Give me some Nick Richards at 5,700. There you have it, man. You're starting five for FanDuel. Nick Richards, Santi Aldama, J.D. McDaniel, Zach Levine, and T.J. McConnell, man. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get them in your player pools for sure. Also, if you want to jump in this 20 max game, need a little help, you want to see my full lineups, get full access to me, help you build your lineups, answer any questions you have, man, join the Patreon link down below, man. Y'all know what to do. Make sure you hit that like button for your boy, all right? That's going to do it for us here today, man. Y'all know the motto, chances make champions. Y'all green up. I'll catch y'all tomorrow, all right? Let's get it.